Hey, hey guys. Well, in this video, I'll talk about EC2 instance connect. Uh, I think in the last video, I was explaining about um, how to connect to the instance using the PEM format if you're uh, using Windows 10 or Windows 11. Uh, so if you're using a below Windows 10, like Windows 8 or Windows 7, then you you don't have that option. You have to convert the PEM key to PPK format using the PuTTY keygen and then you need to connect okay so in this video i'll quickly talk about um, how to connect through ec2 instance connect there is an uh, option once you launch the instance um, so let's try let's see that real quick so here we go i'm, I'm going to launch an instance right now launching instance free tier i'm choosing the first ami select then i'm using t2 micro next config instance details i'm not going to do anything here and then next add storage so i'm just choose, choosing giving something like this name base machine something like this and then configure security group i'm using some security group okay so just review the everything whatever you have selected and then hit on launch and then choose your key pair Say for example, if you're not, you know, proceed without a key pair, it means that, uh, you know, you cannot connect to the instance, okay? I acknowledge that without a key pair, I can connect to the only by using EC2 instance connect or I know the password built into the EMI. Note that EC2 instance connect is only supported on Amazon Linux 2 and Ubuntu. So, when you do this, what happens is, you cannot connect through PuTTY, okay? So, only, only option to connect through is EC2 instance connect, which we are going to see right now. If you don't have a key pair okay say for, for now i'm just choosing i acknowledge i'm choosing proceed without a key pair let's see what happens okay i acknowledged it and i'm just hitting on launch instance okay now it's instances will be launched in a minute or two i'll pause the video okay so let's see the instance status now so okay the instance status it shows running um so okay as i've explained there is a concept of ec2 instance connect um so when you hit on the connect button here there is something called EC2 instance connect here. The first option, click on this, okay? And here, I'm just sitting on connect. So, this is the instance ID, public IP address, and the username, EC2 hyphen user. So, I'm hitting on connect. So, let's see what happens. Okay, now it is connected. So, this is a browser based connection, okay, which will not ask you for any kind of uh, key pair so that is why if you remember when we launch an instance we chose proceed without a key pair so this will not be asking any kind of key pair since we already logged into the console all the permissions will be forwarded to the ec2 instance connect uh, terminal and then it will not ask you anything okay so this is an easy way of connecting to ec2 instance connect now say for example um, now i am going to this instance and then i am going to security and in the security, if you have seen in the inbound rules, right, I have chosen, uh, okay, what is the inbound rules? I have chosen 80 port from all the uh, sources, 22 from all the IP version 6, 22 from all the IP version 4, okay. So, what I am going to do is, let's play around. Uh, let me click on security groups and then uh, edit inbound rules. And in the edit inbound rules, let's say um, I'm going to delete these two rules, okay? So, say for example, let's delete everything. Let's see what happens, okay? How it is going to behave. So, for now, in the security group, which is attached, to, okay, let me do it again. This is my base machine. I'm going to security and this is the instance the security groups here, AWS training. I'm clicking on it. No rules I have allowed. It means that not, you can't do anything. So what I'm going to do is, okay, I think it's hang or it's not working. Let me try to connect again, okay? Hitting on instances, connect, EC2 instance connect, connect. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. There was a problem connecting to your instance. We are unable to make sure that your instant network settings are configured correctly, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now what I will do is I'm going back here going to security going to security groups so in this i'm going to add add rule i'm going to add ssh 
okay 22 i'm going anywhere ipv4 save rules so now i'm going to connect it again okay see so if the 22 port is open from all the sources it means you're able to connect but if you delete it it's not i mean earlier we tried deleting it it was not working so i'm 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 doing i'm going to do it again so right now the security group there is no security group rules found so now i'm just trying to connect it again see it's not working there was a problem connecting to your instances so even this also takes you from the 22 port only okay now there is another thing okay um you cannot i mean if you're using ec2 instance connect in your project uh for the 22 port then here as per the security group right what we are doing edit inbound rules add rule and then i'm just typing ssh and then 22 and i'm just choosing anywhere okay but this is not safe right anywhere from anywhere they can access anything okay i mean obviously unless i mean you unless if you have access to the aws console that's fine but there is another thing okay see uh, if you search here ec2 instance connect um, ip range uh think this one i believe one minute okay yeah this is the one just give me a minute guys just give me a minute let me bring that up for you one moment okay guys got this um url so what this url is nothing but this will tell us what is the ip range from where the particular service can be connected to so now i'm just looking for ec2 uh, underscore instance let me see instance yeah instance underscore connect so this is the service which we are using and i'm just looking for ap hyphen south hyphen one so i'll hit on next 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 okay see so i got it ap hyphen south hyphen one so what i have to do is i need to copy this ip and then i'm going back to my chrome here so in this chrome i'm gonna add okay right now i've already added zero zero right i'm gonna edit delete it i'm gonna add this one only and then i'm gonna hit save rules so now my security group aws training security group is already having only one rule which says it will allow the ss222 with this source ip so which is nothing but ec2 instance connect as per the procedure now i'll click on connect okay now see it's working fine so this is also very very safer side okay so likewise you can look for uh, you know many other services it's not only for ec2 service connect it's it's for route 53 anything you can search here so i will copy this url and put it in your description guys yeah thank you